just real quick. Hey, uh, at the beginning of this today's update, I really want to do a shout out to all the teens and people that circulated that video the other day for getting everybody to stay home. That's we we got over 5,000 views, probably Daddy, close to 6,000. Yeah, thanks uh, to Andy and uh, everybody that helped get that out there. Well, welcome to Ketchikan, Alaska News. Uh, here's our March 23rd update. We have our trusty uh, cameraman, Bridger, in the background. Say hi, Bridger. Hi. All right. So um, just so you know, I've been sending questions occasionally to the um, Emergency Operation Command or Committee, however you want to say it. And today is different. We're on the beach. And today we're on the beach, yep. So yesterday I emailed a couple, a few questions so you guys know I am asking questions. They are trying to respond. Casey was really good about calling me back this morning. Uh, here are the questions I asked uh, last night via email. There seems to be no remote testing site yet uh, to possibly keep infected people away from the clinics. And this needs to be addressed. I asked this actually over 10 days ago and it still hasn't happened. She says they are addressing that. How has the EEOC planned for staff of local grocery stores to be protected? It seems the community plan should be put in place for getting groceries in controlled and orderly manner and the owners of the stores should be brought in. She assured me they are doing that. Uh, are we stockpiling essential medical supplies? I'm sure they're working on that. Um, uh, our National Guard being trained in the protection protocol for personal protection equipment. If we need to lock down the community, are there plans? There needs to be a worst case scenario. Um, if we need, uh, who are the backup for the EOC committee members if they get sick? Can there be a list of community assets compiled? Community members with specific expertise and logistics and, and other types of uh, expertise. Um, or that, is there a list for that? Um, tilt this back, please, there, just like that. Very good. And then uh, in the pre previous outbreaks that I've been monitoring, you get these case, two cases, three cases, five cases, 10, then it's a cluster of 20, then it's a cluster of 50, you know. What are the plans for this growth curve besides social distancing? So those are the questions they seem to be answering. Here's some other updates. Last night, Peace Health put out a uh, letter stating that they had, excuse me, two members of their clinic staff infected and they've been sent home and isolated but this is pro the problem and they're shut down the clinics this would be the OB the surgical the all the clinics in the um, new portion of the hospital that's shut down for two days for deep cleaning this is a big scare in my opinion um, hopefully people in the uh, hospital staff did not get infected uh, as far as the delivery, the update there, A&P is doing deliveries for only people that are quarantined by mandate or who have uh, positive cases. Safeway, however, you can call, put an order in, and go in and pick it up. I think this needs to be clear. We need to get this under control as well and have a little bit more uh, of a um, plan when it comes to getting food. Um, so those are the, uh, the, the updates. If you have questions for the EOC, give me a call or, or um, email me and then I can try to include it to Casey and so forth. Every night there'll be another uh, update tonight and um, I'll include that tomorrow. Thanks for watching Catch Can Alaska News. Hey, thanks for watching Catch Can Alaska News. This is a little hobby effort of mine to try and bring one daily story to uh, people here in Catch Can or past members of the community, people who love and like Catch Can. I try to do uh, just uh, political stories or stories of interest, sports and so forth. If you have any ideas or suggestions, you can email me at catchcanalaskanews at gmail.com. You can also contribute. Uh, it takes a little bit of money running around doing this kind of thing. So there's a donate button on the opening page of the YouTube channel. It helps if you subscribe, like, comment, share all these videos um, that are free to do that. So please do that. Um, any other comments or suggestions, just give me an email or give me a call. Thanks again for watching Catch Can Alaska News. Don't you love that snow?